welcome to my new speed drawing. Uh, this piece is of some strawberries that I did a little still life of. This piece was just one giant experiment for me. I was taking some photos with the new camera, uh, trying to figure out some settings, trying to figure out what all these buttons did and I just grabbed some strawberries out of my fridge and I put them on my black glass desktop which you probably see reflecting in a few of these videos. And I found I had a few pictures that I sort of went, oh, I wonder if I could draw that. I really had to stop and think for a couple of days before I started this one. Um, my reference photo showed the background as being pretty solidly black and I wanted to show some depth in the picture so I wasn't sure how I was going to approach that at all. In the end I started, I used that lighter area at the front to bring that bit forward and so I could still have a really black shadow underneath the strawberries. I used the Prismacolor pencils for the black background because I knew that they would blend out easily with the thinners and I wouldn't have to spend too much time trying to get the back background really dark. I used a mixture of the black, the indigo, the Tuscan red and on the front section I sort of lifted up the colour with a 70% cool grey. I apologise for any screaming you hear in the background. Nobody's being murdered at my place. That is my pet cockatoo screaming at the wild cockatoos for attention. I did try to bribe him with eucalypt flowers, but he's not having it today. He just wants to yell. The first strawberry took me a really long time to do. I um, wasn't really sure how to approach it, and I sort of messed around and I I sort of put dark things and light things and I had absolutely no idea what colours I was going to use um, and especially where it came to the bottom I wasn't sure how I was going to reflect that at all so I ended up taking a lot longer on that first one than I did on the others once I had an idea it went a lot faster and I just sort of blocked in where my light was where my dark was and just sort of went for it on the second and third strawberries I used two very separate sets of colours to render the strawberries and their reflections. On the top where I wanted everything to be really bright and eye-catching, I used my most vibrant reds. I used the deep reds and the scarlets and everything that really sort of has a punch. On the reflection, I chose their more neutral counterparts. I was using the Kaput Matum, how do you say that? Um, and the Indian reds and greys and everything that's just sort of a little bit more toned down and a lot darker. I also separated their strawberries from their reflection um, by burnishing the strawberries up the top to a really high gloss finish, um, whereas on the reflection I left that sort of dulled out tone that you get when you use the thinners. Um, it's not as obvious in the final photo of the piece, but when you're actually looking at the piece itself it just adds another layer of separation and difference and interest. In the end I didn't really take the piece to completion as it were. Um, I probably could have gone into a lot more detail but to be honest by the end I was so sick of going around those strawberry seeds I was really ready to abandon it and just call it done. Uh, this was more of a proof of concept and I really liked the end result of using that desk as a prop so uh, no doubt that will star again in another picture. If you've enjoyed watching how this piece came together um, please feel free to leave a like or a comment I'd love to hear what you think um, and if you'd like to see what I come up with next hit the subscribe button it'll make my day thanks guys